fuck off. It's not supposed to be raining, it was sunny. I come out on the bike and it's bloody cloudy again and raining. Spotting with bloody rain. Oh no, folks. What is going on? It's not meant to be raining, I know that. Bastards. Bastard. open yes it is the Salisbury plane is often open over Christmas and around Easter but it's like a big portion of Christmas where they just open the plane up so everybody can come and wander so let's go and have a look folks just want to check out the old um, just want to check out the ride on the back tire yes better I'm taking the pressure down to 12 it was on 15 but back tire just don't want it to uh, give us any grief. Look at it spotting up with rain, folks. I can't believe this. Honestly, really. This is so much bollocks. Jesus. I'm really sorry. If it stops raining, I'll clean the lens off. But I mean, I'm just going to be cleaning it off every five minutes with it like this. So. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dearie, dearie me. Yeah, it's definitely spitting. Fucker. Literally, I was there sitting on the bike, getting it ready. Sun was out. Of course, come out of the house. Where's the sun gone? And it's raining. Which is the whole reason I didn't bring the camera yesterday, because it was raining quite a bit. And it's not meant to be raining today. It's not meant to be, so I don't get it. I don't understand. The whole reason I uh, came out. Anyway, this is um, Market Lavington Vedette. Straight out onto the road which takes you right across the centre of the Salisbury Plain and because it takes you right across the centre there's actually a um, a nice little marker which is right right in the very centre and it's um, it points you this way to Devizes, this way to the Lavingtons, this way to Salisbury so yeah it's good it is good we like it Yeah, I got my. Oh, look at it! It's getting worse now. You have, you're having a laugh. Really, it's it's actually getting worse. Oh yes, it's getting worse. Yep, spots are getting bigger. It is literally going to ruin the filming. Oh, oh. why? Why? funny though right even though they open it up they open the the roads and tracks up and everything there's bloody military landmark police all over the place up and down up and down up and down they're like where are you going where are you going where are you going what are you doing where are you doing? 
See, they open it, but it's like open, but what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's like, why open it? If you're not just going to let people, you know, go on their merry way. Why have you got to, like, patrol it? Honestly. Rain. Seriously. Rain. Rain. This is bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit. This is a load of bullshit. Mm. Definitely bullshit. So, now if this area was so dangerous, how can they put sheep and cows in the fields? Weird, aren't it? You know, and they say, like, don't walk, don't walk on the plains, don't walk anywhere because there's unexploded bombs. It's like, yeah, but the army do. The army are all over it. Walking, driving cars all over it but when you do it you're gonna die you're gonna die but but why don't they die then why don't they die on a daily weekly monthly yearly basis why is it just we die hmm it's more bullshit net it, folks it's more bullshit is it still raining uh, yep it's still raining such pathetic. So pathetic. Anyway, let's keep going and I'll take you to some of these uh, fun bits. You can see it out of the front. Hope it's not just as bad as I think it is. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. So yeah, I don't know what's up there to the right, but down here, I found some interesting things. I'm going to take you to see them. Let's go and see the interesting bits. Still raining? It's not too bad. Tell you what, I am going to clean the lens off because I think it's kind of backed off a bit. Oh, you... What? What? No, no, no. See, my hand just turns the lights on and I cannot see these lights. I cannot see them. So, let's just get some cleaning on this lens and clean off my visor as well because it is bullshit it is complete bullshit oh yeah oh look at them going like oh my god oh i haven't done my uh i haven't done my coat up like not properly oh come on Bloody hell, the indicators are on again! I'm going to put tape on that bastard. I'm going to tape it down so it can't come on. Because that is pissing me off now. Yeah. Right. So that's a little viewing... viewing thing for, for the... Setting off the bombs. Impact area. Alright, I've got to see if I can remember where these places are. So I'm not too sure. Alright. Yeah, this looks like... Uh, this looks like one of the ways. Permissive byway. Yeah, we don't want to go down there. 
I think it's more that away. Zip this beastie up. There we go. That's better. Right. Oh, here comes the spots of rain on my uh, visor. Oh, well. It is what it is. I can see what looks like bands of rain coming down. So it's definitely still shit. Let's see if we can get to some of these places before the, the weather closes in too bad. We shall see. Mm. Right, so that's Nook Camp in front of us. Nook Camp and one of the first places I wanted to show you is actually between Nook Camp and the main road. But you've got to go a little bit off road to get well it's not, it's just a track dirty track though. Um, and then there's some old one of the barracks or something. It's quite interesting. Mm. It's up there to the right, I think. I think. Um. I'm gonna go to the right. No, this takes you out into the main road, doesn't it? It's not actually where I'm, where I think, where I thought it was. Hang on. No, it's down there. See? It's, where is it? I think you've got to go along that track and up. Yeah. Something like that. Let's see if you can go past those trees and in. Otherwise I'll cut, cut in earlier. And then it comes down to, um, village. I uh, can't remember the name of the village, but it looks like it's an old barracks that's been disused and it's like all fenced off. But um, it looks like you can probably get in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm actually going to go in there. Maybe when up it's a bit less obvious like daytime and not wearing the high vis. You know, we'll give it a go. So there's no path there, so it is a bit further ahead. Is there, so you've got to get across this shit. You get through this shit, and then you've got to get across, get across the other side, and then, whoa, slippy slidey. I think other people have been using the uh, using the field as well, like I have. Oh, look at the rain's coming now. Oh, look, loads of rain coming. Oh yeah, it's gonna piss down. It is gonna piss down. Oh my god. Yep, it is gonna piss down. Oh my god, it wasn't supposed to be raining. It was gonna be cloudy. So annoying. So annoying. Everything you promise. Everything you 
so absolutely annoying. It's pissing it down on my visor. It's absolutely pissing it down. Oh my god. Come on. I really need somewhere to like sit the rain out for like 20 minutes because I don't want to be like pissed on. Is it going to give up though? Is it going to actually give up? Yeah, you probably can't see a bloody thing now. With all the water on the uh, lens. Great, eh? Isn't that great? Oh, here we go. Right, so there's a farmer there. And see, it's up on the right, this thing. I'm telling I'm trying to show you. It's here. Look, look, look. Look at that. Old barracks, old huts. Old sheds, old huts. And there's like open windows and all sorts of stuff. I don't know. Looks like you'd be able to get into some bits of it. There's like windows just open. That looks shagged. Mm. Oh yeah, the rain is really, really making me feel uh, happy. What happens if you go up there then? Back the way up there. I don't know, there might be a back. Back door to Imber. Uh, not Imber. Nook Cam. I don't know. Up this way. Pissing down with rain. Pissing down with rain. Oh, great. Yep. Absolutely wonderful. Well, yeah. Back onto the uh, onto the uh, track. Danger, no admittance. What's down there then? Always going to be good if you're not allowed, isn't it? Danger, no admittance. Don't, don't go into neutral, then. Don't, don't go into neutral. There you go. Right, let's wipe you off. This isn't going to go very far, though. This wiping you off is not going to do a hell of a lot. But there you go. Ten seconds later, you'll be as bad as it was before. But there we go. Let's see what we can do. This will take us to uh, the Bustard Inn. The Bustard is um, a bird, a type of bird. And the, the Bustard Inn is the closest pub to Salisbury Plain. Because it's literally like you step out of the door and you're on the Salisbury Plain. So. So it's like, which way do we go now? Out of bounds to all military vehicles. Well, I think straight ahead looks pretty good. Let's try that. Straight ahead is uh, where we want to be. So there are some some sort of patches in this uh, rainscape I can see, but uh, yeah, 
Not ideal. Not ideal. I think don't we, we don't want to go into the main road. So that will take us on to the Imber side. So we want to just get up here and have a look what's going on. It's not, it's not raining up here. So, let me just clear you off for a minute, see if it helps. Let me just get rid of any shit that might be on there. I don't know if it is, but it's it's better than better than nothing. Right. So, where's all these places I wanted to show you then? The bustard is somewhere that away. Youngsters. Oh, bastard. How come? Why am I hearing? Why am I hearing bird song? Come on! Thank you. Oh, it's this. My watch. Sorry. Nor was telling me. Look who's that important. Well, I, I think I know what it was, yeah. I know what I reminded myself of. This is shit. I can't believe I'm actually bothering to do this. This is shit. That's a shit. Get me legs up. Don't need any of that, thank you very much. Oh yeah, here comes the rain. Here's the rain. Splatter, 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 splatter. Here comes the rain. Oh yeah. are going splitting off a little bit you've got this which appears to be like a bit of a road but then right next to it you've got the military track I don't know could this actually be a road here comes the rain here comes the rain do 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 oh, it's just rubbish Pretty awful, pathetic. Yeah, I want to go down there. Oh. This is what I wanted to show you, folks. This little, uh, this little training camp, look. Training camp area. But you ain't going to see much with a lens like that, so. I'm just clean you off. Yeah, that's 
it's raining. It's raining. It's raining again. Shit. Here we go, look, a little training camp. I wanted to take you through it. Show you around inside. But, yeah, not really ideal. Yeah, you can see it raining down now. You can see it. Oh, it's raining really bad now. Oh dear, 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 dear. Yeah, we want to get indoors for this, folks. Let's be honest. I'm going to go and park in here and we'll go and explore now. And check this place out. Yeah, we're we'll going to park up. Let's get in here. Oh, are you kidding me? It's getting out the rain, isn't it, folks? Turn this shit off. Right. Let's see what we got. Clean up these lenses. Take you for a bit of a walk. Do this bit on foot. I'm gonna take my key because some little joker will probably just like oh, he's left his key and I'll steal it. <laughs> won't be able to drive then. <laughs> Not having that. So Daisy. Weather forecast for Market Lavington. An even worse signal out here. Oh, rain on my screen. Oh, now there's going to be showers is there. Nice. Nice. That wasn't like that earlier. Now there's going to be showers. Oh. Right. Well, I don't think 
this is gonna look very good so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it folks I'm just gonna head back for home and we'll see if there's anything on the way back look the sun's out now see what I mean sun is out not fair this is not fair not bloody fair at all not right folks it's, it's toying with me it's toying with me and it's going <laughs> you thought you could go out and have a nice time then didn't you mr williams no not going to happen mr williams no 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 not for you sir i wonder if i can get through that doorway down the steps yeah pretty neutral matt pretty neutral Seems quite wide. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Well, look, it's nice now. It's not raining. Look, the sun's out. This is what I mean. See you know what I mean? What's that about then? What's all that about, innit? Looks like fun. There's another another building there. Look. Have a quick look up here then. It's like fun. Or viewing platform. Quite oh, good, this checkpoint there. That's a big old, uh, big old bit of work as well. the rain comes before the rains come spotting look it's raining up there Here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. Whoa. Bastard. Here it comes. Nasty. Oh, it's proper shower now. Proper shower. Proper shower. Oh, dear. I think I can get inside this building. Hang on. Let's see if I can get in here.
Look at that, folks. He's a bike rider. What's he doing then? Out of the rain himself, I think. Just like hiding underneath a tree. Once the rain goes, why doesn't he just come in here? This, you know, and hide inside. To make no sense. Right, mate. I'm doing the same. Shit in it. It's shit. Shit weather. <laughs> Keeping us fairly dry in here. We got um, in this place. Dark, isn't it? Dark and dingy, this bit. Weird, the kind of angles of how it all kind of works here. It's a bit shit. What's going on with the old uh keeps making noises? enough now. How was that? The hell was that? Oh, bloody hell. I think it was one of these pieces of wood. Targets, look. Targets. I think it was one of those just fell over, flopped over somewhere. Mm. Uh, let's check to make sure we're filming because something was up. Make the noises again. What's it saying? It's, it is filming, but it's going blip, blip. Don't know what that means. Stop for a minute. I think it stopped. Mute. 
Sure. Get through this without any drippers. All right. I thought it wasn't going to rain today. I thought it wasn't going to rain. Shit, isn't it? Yeah. All oh, right, fair play. Yeah, well, it's a bit, it's getting worse across the weekend. Like I came up here yesterday, it was raining, and it was supposed to be clear today, and now we got this. But yeah, it's ducking and diving, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right. Well, I'm gonna head off do some more exploring. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Right, okay, we'll catch you soon then. All right. Cheers. Um, do you, um, I stick my stuff up on YouTube. You all right with uh, me sticking you up? I'll I'll take your number plate. I'll take your number plate off though, yeah? All right, cheers, mate. See you in a bit. I think we went down there yesterday. See what was there. He's going down that way. Yeah. Sounds like he's got a two stroke. It's definitely a lot wetter today. It's definitely shiz. Now there's a there's a little building in there, but I can't say it's probably going to be worth going to have a look but yeah let's keep going this way then see what's down this way yeah that village um where the uh the barracks is is till i, I think it's till's head um till's head because they've got a garage there and uh you come down to the the junction you take a left up the farm road, and that's where it is. So, yeah. Oh, nicer roads, bloody hell. Laying it all on for us, folks. It's definitely uh, a bit shitty with the uh, traction, though. Right, we're going to go left as well, then? And we've got two ways. We can either go up on the military road or we can go up this one, which looks tarmac. And this looks better. I'm going to take the tarmac, I think. does feel better on the back wheel with um, 12 PSI as opposed to 15. It's not like I'm pinging up all the time, you know, it's like it's a bit pert before. A bit soft now.
the uh, on vehicle. Looks like he's had a flat, flat tyre. Flat tyre on his uh, thing. It's, it looks like it's uh, not, it's not uh, raining at the moment, folks. So I tell you what, I'm going to clean off the lens for you. Because this is the sort of uh, caring sort of film guy I am. Let's get the old uh, tissue out. Now that's wet. We need, we need dry tissue now. So, uh, give you the best chance to see the Bustard in. That feels fairly dry actually, that lens. And let's just make sure all the way around that one. It's pretty good too. Oh, sorry. Need to put my uh, tissues back in my pocket because uh, no, no, can't get any water on them, otherwise we just smear the lens, but yeah. Right, so we're very close now to the Bustard Inn. Yeah. Back tyre's noisier now, you can hear it sort of grrr, just making more contact with the road, whereas before it was just sort of like, you know, standing off. So it's, that noise is, I think, a good sign. So this is the Bustard Inn up here on the right hand side, that is it. The Bustard Tea Rooms. The Bustard Tea Rooms. God Unlimited. Uh -huh. I think it's gone from being a pub to being a tea rooms. So, yeah, got a bit of a nicer Nicer weather. What I'll do is I'll take you through the military town of um, Lark Hill, which was made famous by the movie. Um, I don't know, I'm just trying to think now. V for Vendetta. Remember the movie V for Vendetta? They said, ah, V was taken and tortured at Lark Hill, which is this military town and a military barracks. But the whole town is basically military, so. I will take you there and show you the place that was named in the film V for Vendetta. I don't know why they said Lark Hill, but I suppose they had to pick somewhere, didn't they? Perhaps the author knew knew that name. Maybe he'd lived there one time. So this on the right hand side, I think these are all barracks. I think some of it's been turned into uh, uh, other other things now, but Kinetic have got some sort of presence up here, so it might be to do with them. It might still be a barracks, actually. Rolleston Camp is called. Yeah, Rolleston Camp is actually in use. Pretty uh, drab, but yeah, still being used. Oh, Boscombe Down, I can see the, the I can see Boscombe Down over there. Stonehenge is just in front of us over that way. 
and I can I could take you up, show you Stonehenge, but from a distance, and show you there's a uh, road that allows you to go up there, and you can sleep in your car on the road at night there. It's actually a by by byway, a by by byway, because they tried to make it go by by by, but um, the public said no, we're not having it. It's been a byway for a very long time, and you're not having it. You can't take it off us. What they did is they close it up in the summer when it's um, the solstice big event where tens of thousands of people come. So they close close the byway up for that so people can't just do a sneaky and sneak up that way. But it's only meant to be a temporary closure. But the bastards closed it and without telling anybody they just left it closed. And they were like, oh, we'll see whether we can get away with this. We'll see whether they, there's any pushback. But oh yes, there was a bloody big pushback. People said, get that frigging byway back open. And they went, oh, all right then. I think they had to take him to court. They took him to court over it. And they said, what are you doing? And the council were like, oh, we need to let the, the track repair itself. You know, like the track sort of self-repairs itself, like magically heals itself, yeah? So, uh, yeah, that was their excuse. We need to let the track repair itself. No, it's gravel. It's a gravel and rock track. It won't repair itself because it's gravel as the older uh, council. Bloody wankers, I call them, but you know, this is what they try. They try this shit on, folks. Get the spray off people's tires. It's somewhere up here, hang on. Got to uh, get this right. It's up here in a minute. The, the turning I need, this one here it is. No indicators. Well done, love. Yeah. More important to bite your nails in it, love, than that. Uh, More important to bite your nails in it, love, than uh, use the indicator. That is more important. Yep. I know exactly how you feel, love. Yep. Right. Let's um, wipe off the lens before we get down there so you can have a nice... Oh, I didn't cancel the indicator properly. Right, okay. Let's just clean off the lens. Never mind. We'll survive. Here we go. Up the byway road, they don't like you knowing about, and they'd rather you don't use, but you are fully entitled to. So don't pay 20 quid to English Heritage. Come in your car and stay overnight. Right next to Stonehenge. It's literally stone throw from where you are. And they hate it. The council hates it. English Heritage absolutely detests this byway because it means that people ain't coming and paying 20 quid to come and see it. Their stupid little way, you see? And they just closed this off and they were like, no, you see? Yeah. Nice little gate just so they can close it off whenever they want. But yeah, they, uh, they didn't figure on being taken to court. <laughs> Yep. Oh, yeah. It's a horrible uh, road to come down in your car, but uh, it is doable. As you can see, it's a chalk, chalk and gravel track. So there's no repairing of this track. 
it doesn't it doesn't repair itself because it is just a big old stinking gravel and rock track so there ain't no repair happening so the council are full of shit see what i mean you know the only way this is going to get repaired is if you come up and you put more gravel on it fill in some of the holes that's the only way it's going to get repaired I guarantee it. It ain't gonna repair itself any other way. Right, Stonehenge is basically a vataway. You'll see it now in a second. But you see all cars just parked up here. Caravans, there it is. There's Stonehenge. Now, everybody thinks you can't get near Stonehenge because you have to pay. Nope. What does this look like that I'm actually riding up here now? It's the byway. And look how many people who are smart, who know about it, and they do not pay. And they just come up here. Yeah, and they camp out for weeks. Some people, months. Look how many people are up there now paying. Look at them. Like bloody insects. Every one of those people up there has paid 20 quid. Seriously, folks. Yep. Bloody travesty, I could tell you. Oh, look, there's a, there's a Malawuf. Malamut. Look, people queuing here like to get back on the bus that takes you back over there so they make that bit over there so far away that you would want to take the bus so want to pay the 20 quid but you don't have to you come up here up the by the byway and you can just jump the queue and just jump in and go up there and don't pay you see they can't make you pay they can't make you pay but they're providing you a service which is called a bus, you see, and therefore that's what you're paying your 20 quid for. And look at them all queuing up like lemons. Just walk up there yourself. And here's the second part of it. You could park up here as well if you want. So you could literally be this close to Stonehenge over there. This one's got a nice view down to it because it's a bit higher up. But you've got both sides of the, by the bypass where you can go. And they don't like you knowing that. And that road is always jammed with traffic. It's absolutely chock-a-block usually with traffic. And it seems like it's jammed for miles up there. And that's why they want to build an underground 50 billion pound tunnel. Yeah, but they ain't got no money for the for the nurses though. No, nope, but they want to build a tunnel and they're like, yeah, 50 billion. Yeah, we've got the money. Yeah, we got the money. For, they got see, they've got the money for things they want to do, but they ain't got money for things that would help out society. But you know, Get one of their mates to run the company that does the work creating the underground tunnel. So, you know, let the money go to your mates, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it's all about. And get billions, billions transferred. So there you go, folks. That's what it's about. And there's the traffic. That's the traffic. Not very good, is it? Well, I did say I was going to take you to uh, see Lark Hill. But this way uh, kind of avoids it. So I'm going to turn around. Uh oh, what the fuck was that? Oh no. My, um. Hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna do some surgery on my bike here a sec, folks. The, uh. Oh, my, my leg got caught in the. Kickstart. Oh, I put and pushed the bloody thing out the wrong way, you bastard. 
Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? Damn you. That might work. Ah! Oh! Burnt myself on the exhaust. Bastardo. That's it. Fixed. Caught my uh, trousers on the old uh, exhaust there. Uh, no, on the kickstart. And see these silly, silly cues of people. Yeah, but you could just mill around and walk up there and just become part of the crowd that they don't notice, and just get on in there without having to pay. Save twenty pounds. Do not line the pockets of English heritage. You are a bunch of bloody Nazis. Yes, baby. Yeah, do not give them money. They do not deserve it, folks. The Stonehenge was not put there to make English heritage money. It was put there for people to visit freely. Freely visit. And they're just like, no, we'll have that. Thank you very much. That's ours now. Yeah, yeah. 20 quid, please. 20 quid. And there's the stupid buses that ferry you. Up and down there, yeah, for 20 quid. What a con. What a bloody con. Yep. There we are, folks. That's it. Stonehenge. The little people of Stonehenge. Uh, from is it France or E? No, D. Germany. Deutschland. See what I mean about it being a good road? Can get up here though, just got to take it easy. You know? In your car. But it can be done. You can just come in from the other end, from the main road, um, and just turn in onto that byway. But you, it's very hard to get out again because uh, you've got to wait for bloody gaps in the traffic. And uh, people ain't very. Uh, very kind sometimes. They'll just leave you standing. Won't let you out. But yeah, Lark Hill's over that way, so we'll go and check it out. See what's there. Oh, look, he's bringing a Tesla up here. <laughs> he's going to wreck his Tesla on uh, on those ruts. Oh dear. The car's a bit nice to be uh, taking up there, but oh well, whatever. If you can afford a Tesla, you can afford to break it and probably get another one. 
Oh yeah. Dumbity dumbity do. Me go, not a nice guy. Um. Right, so Lark Hill, let's go back up the main road and we can show you the uh, the gates. Where's this coming from? Where's this coming from? Shit. No rain, no rain. Bastard. There's another Tesla in front of me. There's an awful lot of people with an awful lot of money, isn't it? You know, 70 grand. Awful lot of people got 70 grand lying around, haven't they? Yeah, there's a, quite a lot of people got an awful lot of money. Yeah. the base on the left and then uh, these are the local shops so we can get a bit of uh, shelter from the shit Aquay parade get a bit of shelter clean up the lens good dear dear in. See what we've got going on, folks. See what's happening, folks. Is it raining? Still, probably. Definitely raining. Bar starts. Military church, yeah. But yeah, if this rain keeps up, I'm gonna probably, probably gonna say no to old, uh, old filmy times, and the camera's gonna go back in my pocket because I don't want it getting too wet. Most of this now on the way home is gonna be, is gonna be. So this is like the military church, yeah? Military church. dum de dum de dum no. Lots of uh, plaques of people who probably passed away. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Right. 
How's the old uh, rain situation going then? How's the old rain going? Yeah, I think we still got it. Still got rain. So, how much we're going to do about that? Right then. So they got a tank for there, look. Got a bloody tank. Oh. Oops, non pass holders. Film the tank. There it is, look. What type of tank that is. Nice. Yeah, we're getting through onto the other side of the village now, so there's not an awful lot down here now. See, this is Lark Hill. We've just done it from end to end. It's not very big, is it? And there's also Bullford Camp, which I think is across the other side of the road. So when you come to the roundabout, go across the other side, there's that base. That's a bit bigger than this, I think. Yeah, that rain's not giving up, folks, so I'm going to take the camera off to spare it. And I'll do that in the Stonehenge Inn, which is across the road. So we'll stop at the Stonehenge Inn. And then I'm going to take the camera off. So this is the end, because it's just a road now going home. You don't want to go and see the road, unless it's good quality. It's not worth it, is it? You know, unless you can actually see properly, it ain't worth it. Oh, the bloody indicators are not, not having it. So, there we are. Let's just go up here. And in the quiet spot, next to the telephone exchange, hopefully, shielded from the rain a little bit. We will. Sort out taking the camera off. Still spotting, bugger. Okay, folks. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, keep this as a short one. And um, yeah, all I'm going to be doing is riding up that road back towards Upaven, and um, then I'll be taking a left and back to Market Lavington. But that's 